In this video, I'm going to be talking about logs. I'm going to talk about two specific kinds of logs. The first is called a common log. So, so far we've been talking about logs with all kinds of different bases, um, whatever numbers can go down there. But specifically common logs are logs that have a base 10. And usually you will see this written as just log. In fact, if you look at your calculator, there's a button titled log. And when you press that button, it is talking about a common log. It's talking about a log base 10. Um, so if you just practice using your calculator and evaluating some of these log expressions, just to play around with it, we can try a log of 5. So that's the common log of 5. And a lot of times you won't see that 10 down there. In fact, most times you won't see the base 10 because it's just implied. So if you see a log without a base, usually you will imply that it is a log base 10, a common log. So on your calculator, if you type uh, the log button and then you press a number such as 5 and then the enter or equals button, it should give you the answer or evaluate that log for you. So if you type in the button log and then 5, what it should tell you is approximately 0 0.69 and some more decimals. Um, so really what's happening is that you're doing log base 10 of 5 and you're asking yourself what that is, um, which is really saying that 10 to what power is 5? And so if you actually put that decimal in there as that exponent, you will actually get 5. So again, logs are exponent values. All right, so that's the common log. Hopefully that's not too hard. Let's do a different type of special log here. Another button you might see on your calculator looks like this. It just says LN. That button refers to the natural log. And the natural log is talking about a log with a base E. And so uh, if we type that button or hit that button on our calculator, we can evaluate some of these logs, these natural logs. So let's try one for instance here. Um, you'll either see log, the natural log is capital LN, or you'll see it as lowercase LN. Anytime you just see LN, you need to be thinking it's a natural log. It's a log with a base of E. So hit that button on your calculator, and then type in 0 0.1 and see what it evaluates or what it gives you. And what you should see is approximately negative 2.3 which seems kind of weird why we get a negative value but let's get into it here and let's just try and see why this makes sense so we're talking about log base e of 0 0.1 so if we use our circle method we're talking about uh, log base e to what power is 0 0.1 or in other words it's one tenth or in other words it's 10 to the negative one so in order to get a decimal or a fraction, right, we need a negative exponent. So it would make sense that if we're missing uh, the exponent of negative 2.3, that should give us a decimal or a fraction out of it. Negative exponents give us fractions or decimals. So there's the natural log. All right, now let's get into properties of logs. I'll clear this away. There are many properties of logs, and it may seem a little intense at first. But the more you practice them, the easier they get. Um, so let's just get into them. We got uh, about three special properties, and then we got two more uh, what are called inverse properties. Let's start with the special properties first. Special properties. 
one special property and the numbers of these special properties are not specific they go in any order the first one I want to talk about looks like this the log of any base of one is always going to be a certain number think about it what exponent is always going to give us a value of one well that would be a zero exponent so if we use our circle method we could figure out why this is true we would start with b as our base so we'd say b to the zero power is equal to one well that's true anything to the zero power is one all right so for example um, let's try log base 3 of 1. If I evaluate this, we imply that we're looking for that number over there. We use our circle method, and we get 3 to what power equals 1? Well, it's always, always, always that exponent is always 0. So there's one special property. Here's another. We have log of any base of the same number. If our base and the number right next to it are the same value, we'll always get a certain number. We'll always get one out of it. And let's just use our circle method to prove it. Any number to the first power is always going to be that number. So that hopefully will make sense. Try an example here. If I have log uh, base 2 of 2 and I try and evaluate it, we're looking for that missing exponent. Use your circle method, set it up. 2 to the what power is 2? Well, it doesn't matter what this number is, that exponent's always going to be 1. Now, sometimes you'll see uh, questions or problems that, that use this property in a slightly tricky way. For example, if we do uh, log base uh, 4 of let's say 2 squared then if we simplify a little bit before we use our property we find that log base 4 of 2 squared is 4 right And so now we find that we have our base and this number right next to it being the exact same and so we can apply this property and know that it's always going to evaluate to 1 so sometimes you have to do a little bit of simplifying first here just to get those bases and the number right next to it to be the same and then once you do that you can apply this special property right here all right let's do another special property let's talk about um, I'm going to use an if-then statement for this one If this statement happens, if you find that uh, logs on both sides of the equation have the same base and their log uh, is of a number that are different, well actually what happens is these logs end up canceling each other and we're left with just those last numbers. So if that happens then you can simplify your logs and that's what's left. Uh, this property uh, we won't get to necessarily um, in the near future, but we may see it on down the road. All right, so there's some uh, log properties. There are also natural log properties that follow the same uh, sort of reasoning. And so they would be something like this. The natural log of 1 is always going to be zero and that follows that first property we just talked about let's see why if I expand this and write the natural log is log base e of 1 equals 0 then I can use my circle method and it should make sense e to the 0 power equals 1 well even e to the 0 power equals 1 remember anything to the 0 power equals 1 so even if it's a natural log this property will still apply all right, here's one more natural log property. Still following the same pattern as 
the uh, second special property that we just talked about. I had the natural log of E. Um, these are actually going to cancel each other. Let's see what that looks like. It's always going to equal one. Let's see. If I expand the natural log to log base E of E, well, let's use our circle method. E to the first power is going to be E. So hopefully that property makes a lot of sense. Anything to the first power is always itself, even E. All right. So those are our special properties. Hopefully you got those written down. Now let's talk about inverse properties. We got two more here. And we're going to have properties of any log, and we're going to have special natural log properties that are very similar. All of them are inverses of each other. The first one, so this could be uh, property four if you're keeping track. If I have log base A of A to any power, then it's always going to be whatever the exponent is. And we could use our circle method to prove that. We write our base first, move it over to that exponent. And that should equal whatever this number is, which is a to the x. Well, that makes sense. a to the x is equal to a to the x. And in fact, the inverse property means that a log base of a number to the same number uh, actually just cancels. This goes away, and we're just left with that. So for example, um, if I have a log base 5 of 5, um, let's say, squared, well, it's going to equal 2 when I evaluate this because these are inverses of each other right here. Um, but we could also prove it if I want to know what this is over here. I would say 5 to the what power is equal to 5 squared. Well. Since we have the same base, we can ignore those and just focus on the exponents, so x equals 2. And in fact, this, these two things cancel each other, they're inverses of each other, they equal 1, and so we're left with that exponent there. All right. Similarly, we have the natural log inverse property, which says that um, the natural log of e to any power will equal that exponent. Because remember, it's log, natural log is log base e of e to the x power. Well, these are inverses of each other. They just cancel, and we're left with the exponent. So for example, if I had log base on the natural log of e to, uh, we'll say squared again, and then it should equal 2. The natural log of e are inverses. They cancel each other. And we're left with that exponent, 2. OK, one more here. One more inverse property. If I have a number with an exponent that's a log, kind of crazy, well, they're still inverses of each other. And we are still equal to the exponent. So for example, if I have 7 to the log base 7 of 14, well, these things cancel each other out, and we are left with 14. Similarly, the natural log has a similar property, and it is e to the exponent of a natural log. Then that would just be equal to whatever the number is right next to it, because the natural log and e will cancel each other out. So, for example, if I have e to the natural log of 3, then the natural log and e cancel each other out, and we are left with 3. All right, so let's do one more challenge real quick, just to see if we got it. If we got log base 4 of 16 to the x, try and think about what property that is. Simplify and use your property. Well, as it turns out, log base 4 16 can be written as 4 squared. Since we have that x up there, we've got to keep it there. These cancel each other out, and we are left with 2x as our answer. All right, kind of quick finish there, but 
Uh, those are all the properties that you need to use for logs. Good luck uh, implementing them.